The model component has a variety of ways to display models. It can be a simple button trigger with one model. Multiple button triggers with dynamic models render best on the data you click. Or even more advanced models where we can render multiple models at the same time. This behavior simply comes from the state that we control. It just contains a true or false value. For example, if we click the open model button, our state will update its value to true and our UI will render the model component. If we click the close X button, our state will update its value to false and hide our model. But the main question is, where do we put this state? The first approach to create this is using use state in every component. Let's say we have three components. If we want the button to trigger the model, we need to define its state in this component. Also, if we want the component to use the model, we need to define its state again. For table component, we need to do the same thing. This approach looks really cumbersome because we repeat the process of creating our state. The second approach is to create the use state in every page. Let's say these three components are rendered on our page.tsx. And our page.tsx contains the use state inside it. To make the button trigger the model, we need to pass the props from our parent to the button component. It's the same way with the rest of our two components whenever we want to trigger the model. This may be a good approach in this situation. But what if our components are rendered on different pages? We will need to create the use state in each page that needs to trigger the model inside its components. So this is still make our code looks messy because we repeat the process of creating our state. The final solution is using Zastan to manage our state. Zastan is a global state management library which means we can import it anywhere we want. For example, we can just import it in our components or also we can import it in our pages. So we just create one global state and avoid duplicating our code to manage this state. Throughout this video, I divide the content into two parts. The first one, we will learn about implementing the basic model with such CNUI, where we just grab the model component from there. And for the second one, we are going to integrate our model using React use state. For the second part, we will start by improving our model using the Zastan state management library. And finally, we will handle multiple models, continuing to use Zastan for managing our state. However, for the second part, I'm not uploading the video publicly for some reasons. You can get it from my Gamera page for free. But if you want to give me some bugs to motivate me to create better programming animation explanations, I will highly appreciate it, regardless of the amount you give to me. Additionally, I just want to let you know that in this full video, I've also created animations to explain difficult concepts more easily. Okay, this is our first attempt to create the perfect model component in our Next.js application. And I'm just using such a UI library here for streamlining my development process. It means that I don't need to create the beautiful component from scratch. For example, this button called open model button. If we refresh in browser here, you see that this is our open model button. Okay, let's straight to the point. Whenever I click this open model button, it will trigger our model to appear in our screen. Okay, let's do that. Let's go back to this such a UI library here. And let's we grab the model component here. Let's scroll a little bit down. And we see the component section here. And let's see where is the model component. There is no model component actually in such a UI. It's called the dialog component. Let's click the dialog component here. And we can preview here first with clicking this edit profile we see that this is our model component that we need to add to our project okay let's install this component first here we need to install this i'm going back to my terminal and i just paste the cli click enter wait a second i get warning message here that component dialog already exists because previously i've installed the dialog component so i just terminate this process by clicking n and clear this terminal come back to my code again and in here, I just using the import statement that provided here, just paste in my code. And again, for the dialog component, we need to copy and paste below our open model button. Let's go back to our browser, refresh. We get another text right now. If I click this open text, 
it will trigger our model however this is not the behavior that we need we need whenever we click open model button it will trigger the model uh, let's remove the open text and i'm gonna cut this and pass it inside our dialog trigger and refresh the browser again okay we got an error right now we got one error let's see that it says that in html button cannot be a descendant of button this will cause a hydration error let's take a look in our inspect element first i'm going to open this, this inspect element going to elements menu and click this icon i'm going to click my mod open model button here you see that our button is rendered inside the button it's not applicable in our next.js application so we need to add the props in the dialog trigger to fix that call the sql prop enter save the file again and re refresh the browser there's no error right now if we inspect the element and click this little icon and click this open model button uh, we get only one button right now okay the error will gone okay let's switch us to opening the model here i just click in the open model button and yeah we get our model here but uh, for the first approach it's not really great because whenever we want another model for example i just folding first here i want to call it the open model second and this is what we get we get two model right now and two button to trigger that model but you see that in our code here it's look really messy that we need to call the dialog component twice and whenever we get another button to trigger the model we need to duplicate it again and again and again it's not really good approach to create our model component now we are on the second approach page we have more than just one button to rendering our model the edit button and the delete button and also we want to rendering our model dynamically based on the clicked actions we are going to implement react use state for controlling our model as well the very first thing that i need to do is creating our model component here inside our components folder ui i'm going to create another fo folder called zero to approach and inside it i'm going to make a file called model.sx let's open up this file and here i'm just going to grab the dialog component from such uh, let's first copy and paste the import statement here and don't forget to export default function model and just return return something that we want to copy the dialog component pass in here and don't forget to import this component to our page.sx i'm going to import that in top of our card let's import that model and in here i have already imported that automatically okay let's we save the file again going back to our browser refresh it we get the open text whenever we click this open text it will uh, open up the dialog as we expected but this is not the behavior that we want we want to remove this open text first let's we go to model.sx here we get the open text and the dialog trigger i think we don't need the dialog trigger as well let's remove this line delete and save at the moment we don't have anything to trigger our model so here we want to create a use state for controlling our model here cons i'm going to name it is open you can name it whatever you want and here set is open equal with use state and for the initial value i will give it false like that okay right now we have an error because use state is only work in a client component let's create the model that this hex become the client component by adding the directive in top of our file the other uh, directive is use client like this one let's we save the file okay we don't have any error but we don't see any model appear the next question is where we put this state into our dialog component okay let's we go back into dialog component inside cnui and we want to read the documentation about it and if we scroll a little bit bottom here we see that section called example and in here it just using the react use state whenever we are using use state we want to call the open and on open change props to handling our dialog component using our use state okay here i'm going to create a uh, open equal with is open and also the on open change equal with set is open let's take a look in our project again here refresh there is nothing happen but if i make this become true let's save the file 
so whenever i refresh the browser at initial value it will render our model okay this is great right now we don't have to depend on the dialog trigger like before we depend on the use that statement here the next thing that i want to do is whenever we click this button it will trigger our model component so we cannot put the use that inside our model.tsx because uh, you see in patch.tsx here is where we render our button our edit this is our edit button and this is our delete button or you can see here this is the text of delete and this is the text of edit so we need to move this statement this use state from the components to its parent let's copy in the patch.tsx here i'm going to pass in here and don't forget to import the use state i'm going to import that manually use state use state from react let's save the file we get an error because we are using use state it only works in a client component so we need to create this patch.tsx as a client component as well here i'm going to create directive use client let's save the file we have an error right now but in model.tsx i think we have an error because we don't have any is open and set is open value okay let's create that we want to create uh, parameters here the first one is open and the second one set is open and also because i'm using typescript i'm going to type that things is open become boolean value and also set is open basically just a function except is open argument as a boolean value and just return nothing or void let's save the file we get no error right now but if you see in my text editor in nvim this is a warn icon it's not an error basically it's just a warning message okay let's we go back in page.tsx uh, we get an error in our model here because we missing the following properties like it's open and set is open so we need to props drilling from our parent component here this is our state we need to send this state from here to our component right here so we want to create is open equal with is open and set is open equal with set is open let's save the file okay now if we refresh we get an initial render of the dialog because in here you see that uh, the initial value of is open is true let's we make it become false again save the file so we see nothing whenever we refresh the browser the next thing that i want to do is triggering the button whenever i click it will trigger our model it's really simple let's we scroll down a little bit here and in here uh, we get our button let's make it like this okay and here i'm going to call the on click handler and let's uh, set is open will be true and also we get an error because i think we need to call it as a function like this one so we get uh, this thing we got the on click handler we save this file and refresh the browser again whenever i click this uh, edit button it will render our model as expected okay the next thing that we want to do is creating the dynamic content inside our model because we, uh, we don't want to see this content whenever we click the edit button it's really simple actually let's we go back to our model.tsx here and in here i'm going to delete the content because we don't need that we want to make the content dynamic let's call the children here and in here i'm going to take the parameter of the children and also i'm going to create a a type of it children equal with the react dot react not save the file again yeah basically i just create this line children and i just create the corresponding type of children uh, this is the react dot react not and i just passing the children inside our dialog component okay that's uh, i think before we go back to patch the tsx i'm going to remove unnecessary import here let's save the file going back to patch the tsx let's we scroll up a little bit until we find our model it has an error because we need the children let's remove the closing tag and i'm going to create a model like this save 
I think I'm going to add something here like the dialog content uh, we see previously like this one we need to copy dialog content like this but I don't like to copy this thing because I've prepared the file for calling the dialog content here in our sidebar I'm gonna show you uh, in our UI components uh, there is a product model folder and in here we see that edit product model and delete product model that we can import in our model children so let's take a look at this file first for example this is for edit product model it's simply the dialog content and for our for our delete product model yeah it's simply the dialog content as well okay we close this file close and we want to add the edit product model here and let's we save if we're going to the browser again whenever i click this edit it will pop up the edit product model uh, by the way how to handle whenever we click the delete button it will trigger the delete product model it's really simple let's we create another use state so here i am going to call it model type and set model type equal with use state of the edit or delete or or maybe null null and also uh, at first or initial value will become null and also for this use state you can type it properly like boolean like this one okay let's we save the file and going back to our edit and delete button here is our edit button and also here is our delete button okay for the edit button i think what i'm going to do here is just delete it and just create curly braces because we have more than just one line set is open going to true and uh, model set model type will the edit and then here also i want to create on click a uh, set is open will become true and also set model type will become the delete model save the file okay let's we scroll up a little bit until we find the model here where we render the model so what we need to do here is just create a conditional whenever a model type equal with edit it will render the edit product model and let's we copy this whenever the model type delete we want to render the delete product model and save and going back to browser refresh it whenever i click this edit button it will pop up the edit product model and whenever i click this delete button it will trigger the delete product model okay this is a great approach for creating our model component because we are handling our model component using use that not uh, using the dialog trigger as before but there is a drawback here because whenever we have another page that we want to use the modal component we need to create this use that again and again in another page and also we want to copy and pasting this modal component inside our page.tsx so in the next section i'm gonna show you how we can handle this thing Stop record.